Hello friends welcome to Tech World today we are discussing about excel basics i think if you don't know anything about excel this video will be more helpful uh, you can start excel from the start menu if you click the start menu you can see the excel if you click that excel will be open after that uh, this is the excel window normally we will say excel is a workbook you can see in the top the title bar it will be display book 1 normally excel in book 1 you can see three sheet in down that's the default sheet you can see sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 normally if you say here this one we are calling formula bar if you are creating any formula in excel you can see here that's why we are calling this area formula bar and here we can see name box name box means this is a cell name for example if we click here you can see here d2 that means d is the column name 2 is the row name you can see it will be displayed automatically here suppose if i click here you can see b7 that means b is the column name and 7 is the row name excel normal using for calculations now we are we can check how to add two number in excel for example i click the first cell i type one number then i move to second cell i type the another number after that if you want to add this two number i can use see i'm now the third cell after that i click equal and i use the mouse i click the first number then i use the addition symbol then i click the second number after that if i click enter i can get the answer now if i click here uh, you can see here the formula what is the answer for this that means uh, this one c1 equal to a1 plus b1 that is the c1 you can see the answer here now we have uh, some tricks for for other numbers how it will be you can click the first cell again you can see you need to drag your mouse here like this if your mouse arrow will be like this then you can click and drag it down after that if you type any number the answer will be automatic this is a good thing for excel if you have one formula you can copy the formula same like this. if you type any number answer will be automatic now we can learn how to add two numbers without equation uh, i will show you how it will be first i type one number and i click the right arrow key on the keyboard i move to other cell and i type another number after that i click again right arrow after that there's an option auto sum if you click this option you can get the sum automatically we don't need any equation after that just click enter key then you can see the answer now we can learn how to copy paste and cut in excel if you have one number if you want to copy that you can see the option here copy you can click that option and where you want to paste you can click there you can use the paste option then that number will be come here uh, there's a one advantage if one time you copy multiple time you can paste the same number how many times you want you can paste and there's another option in excel we can use the shortcut shortcut key also for copy paste if you click here you can click the keyboard ctrl c for copy and ctrl v for the paste if you are pressing multiple time ctrl v it will be paste multiple you can see the so coming multiple times and there's another option also for copy paste one simple option you can copy again pressing ctrl c then you can click where you want to paste and you can click the enter key this is also pasting option like that there's a multiple option you can copy and paste and if you want to delete all of this number you can use the shortcut key for select all there's a shortcut key for ctrl a if you press ctrl a the whole sheet will be select and you can press the delete key on the keyboard then all data will be delete now we can see how to cut paste if you have a two number i want to cut this number from here and i want to paste it somewhere 
that time you can click here you can use the cut option here and wherever you want you can click the cell then you can paste now you can see the number cut from here it pasted into this area and we have a shortcut key also for cut and paste same you can click the control x and click here control v then it will be cut paste now we can see how to basic formatting the cell if you have a like this this is a heading for the table and this is a student's name this is a student subject for example subject 1 subject 2 and uh, subject 3 and the total okay and if you want to make this heading into the sender we have a option merge sender for that first you need to select the cell first you need to select the cell that's important things after that you can click merge sender then you can see it will be sender it will be sender you can see like this after that if you want to bold for this text you can click the b icon then your text will be bold then actually this option enable and disable if you click one time this option will be enabled if you click again it will be disabled like that you can use the bold italic and underline you can see if i click this option it will be unable here if i click again it will be disabled after that i'm typing the values here for example name will be a b and c and the subject one uh, for suppose i'm typing the marks i'm typing the different different marks here for the students and if you want to get the sum i'm using the same option first i will select this like this i will select like this then i click the auto sum after that you can see the total will come after that for automatic this one i can move the arrow like this then click and drag then the answer will be automatic now i will teach you how to insert one cell suppose if i click here i want to insert one cell in between of this you can click here then you can you have we have an option here insert if i click insert this option insert cell if i click insert cell there's a option shift cell right and shift cell down what is the difference between this one if i click shift cell right one cell will be insert here then this current cell will move to the right you can see if i click you can see the example here see this will move to the right now i will press ctrl z for undo it will move back again i will explain again uh, stop it, stop it. insert there is another option you can see here if you click insert cell there is another option shift cell down this option the new cell will be insert here then the b and c will go down like this you can see it will be like this i will press again ctrl z for undo it will be move back again normal one then there is an option you can insert a row and you can insert a column if i click entire row the new row will be insert here like this you can see the new empty row will be come here then you can type the new values here new values here you can type like this and if you don't get the total you can do the same before what we did we can click the first cell wherever the formula then you can drag it down you can see answer will be automatic this is the easiest way to find sum next option same you can see insert here insert column for that i just click here i just click here you can see insert column that time you can see the new column will be insert like this you can see new column will be insert if you want the subject new subjects you can see you can type here subject 4 and you can type the mark again like this you can see the total will be if you want the total you can do the same like this and you can click the auto sum you can get the answer then you can drag it it will be normal table now this is the option for insert and there's another option for insert sheet 
I told you before we have a normally we can get the three sheet if you want more sheet you can click again insert you can click insert sheet then you can see now the sheet 4 now sheet 5 like that sheet will be increased now we can see how to delete the sheet and cell if you want to delete the sheet now I am the sheet 5 if you want to delete the sheet you can go to delete there is an option delete sheet see now the sheet is deleted now we are on the sheet 4 I am trying to delete the same delete sheet this also delete now we are back to the same sheet 1 now we can see how to delete the cell and rows and columns if I click here I can go delete and if you click delete cell you can see the same four options suppose if I click delete entire row you can see the D the row will be deleted like this the row will be deleted and if you want to delete the column you can click then you can click the delete you can click the delete cell if I click enter column wherever we select wherever your mouse point that column will be delete like this it will be delete then if you want to delete the particular cell now you can see my mouse is here if I click delete delete cell then you can see the same question shift cell left that means this current cell will be delete then one cell will be shift to the left you can see the difference if I click delete you can see the value is deleted and the cell move from here to the left now I'm pressing ctrl z again it will be back and there's an option shift cell up for that I click again here 44 if I click 44 if I click shift cell up the 44 will be delete and 55 will come up you can see like this this is the shift cell up and shift cell left now I press ctrl z again it will be normal now we can sell uh, we can check some of the basic formatting if I select like this there is a basic formatting left center and right default it is a left alignment all will be left alignment now if I click center the old text will be moved to center now or data will be center now if I click right it will be moved to the right area normally if you want to uh, align the particular area you just select only that area then you can apply this alignment it will be work like this so guys this is for today excel basics hopefully i will come with more excel advanced level thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel